Oh wow. I think I'm connected since since a while. Uh maybe like one or two minutes max. I was uh, I was not paying attention. Hello. <laughs> so yeah. It's not too dramatic, given that we lost a whole episode. I think I didn't mention it yet, but there was a strike from YouTube actually. How many strikes can you get? Like three strikes. And it was an episode where I was reading out a bit of the chat. And I think I shouldn't have done that because the chat was very toxic. And uh, the video got flagged as hate speech, which I don't know, I would say it falls under a documentary. <laughs> so I'm just like, it's not my opinion, right? I'm not doing any hate speech here. Um, but yeah, how, how would the AI who is doing the automated flagging of videos know? Or how would it be able to differentiate between it being my opinion and it being like just... I'm actually not sure if it matches, if it's my opinion or if it's just mentioned. Uh, anyways, so there was one episode, if you're wondering why one random episode is missing, it's because it got taken down by YouTube. I thought about re-uploading it and censoring it, which I don't know. It's really bad. I hate. I hate to do that, but it's still better than losing the whole episode. I would say. Um, but that is not an option because I don't keep those recordings and just don't have any space. And YouTube does not let me download the episode that it got permanently deleted, basically. I was still able to watch it, um, but yeah, I, c I cannot re-download really it. It's like in some. If you ever got a strike, you probably know how it how it looks like. Anyway, so this episode is lost forever. I could go through the effort of like screen recording it because usually I would use like the YouTube downloader Python tool. YouTube DL or or the fork um, YouTube DL plus I think anyways I'm I'm not going to screen record it from this um, management interface or however you want to call it so this episode is gone forever it's not one of those super boring episodes where I just walk the highway like this one which wouldn't be that dramatic to, to lose. It was a more, I was currently building some base, um, but even that, it's not too exciting. It's just sad that the journey is now incomplete. But yeah, since that happened, I don't care that much anymore if I lose like one, one minute uh, when I was AFK because I didn't notice that I reached the end of the queue. It's just, just all doesn't matter that much anymore um, yeah I hope I can even continue the series and I'm not getting taken down by YouTube because I have no way of like fighting it I'm just a non relevant I wouldn't even say YouTuber. I'm just like I'm just uploading a bunch of videos nobody watches so I have no chance of like fighting YouTube if it decides if it decides that I have too many toxic um, videos that include hate speech in the chat, maybe I have to um, make the chat even smaller or transparent. But I think the reason this video got flagged is because I actually said it out loud. Um, so I'm just not gonna do that again. I hope I don't forget it. And then we should be fine. Ooh, what's this? Wait, is this um fancy coordinate? 
Why did people say best monument? Is it over there or is it a trap? Am I going to die now? Oh no. Oh, what the fuck? That's so intact. It's not griefed. I, I've seen ungrieved stuff before. Okay, yeah, never mind. That looks a bit ugly. Um, all these monuments, like in the nether especially, but it was... It was mostly obsidian and... Uh, yeah, pretty much obsidian. And just like a, a cave thing. Oh, it's 11 million, that's why, I see. 11 million. Not sure why that's a milestone. What about 10 million? Did I miss that one? Oh. Uh. <laughs> oh, fuck, imagine I would die. I was doing the, the double jump elytra thingy. Oh no, now I'm polluting it as well. Uh, why is it so high? Imagine I die. <laughs> oh my god. Imagine. Why am I not playing in full screen? Wait, give me a second. I'm currently having so many applications open. Yeah, so I contributed to the pollution. Oh no, it's bugged. Let me restart my client. Yeah, let's do that. I'm sure there's a smarter way or a faster way of doing it. Uh, but restarting is, is always pretty clean. It just works. I'm really <coughs> hoping that 2v2t will update at some point. Because I... I've yet to find a client side modification that fixes. Uh, can you see something? Does it work? Oh wow, it's broke. It's broken again. Uh, that fixes. Wait, I have to build myself in here. Otherwise, oh, I can't. I can spin it in. No, that doesn't work either. So if you don't know what's happening, I'm losing my mouse. And that's because uh, 1.12 is majorly bugged when it comes to full screen and stuff like that on my system. It's fixed in, in later versions, but um, yeah can't play that. Can I go like this and then never minimize it? I have to go minimize again. Oh my gosh. Yes. It's working. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure how feasible it is to patch those kind of bugs or like bug fixes into an old version in a client mod. Um, it's probably some Java rendering window whatever library that might have patched it or has better, um, what is it even, Wayland GNOME support. Mm. So I'm not really um, expecting any client modification to ever fix that. It just it's probably the easiest and the most um, realistic to wait for a update of 2b2t and then just get a newer version of the Minecraft vanilla client. Um, I would really appreciate uh, that a lot because this bug is so annoying. Um, but yeah, 
probably not gonna happen anytime soon. Wait, what is happening with those signs? Is that a bug on my... They can't be all empty, right? Is there a bug? Those are not empty. What? Ah, easy. Poggers. Missed him by one. One day, true. Oh, it's all from 21. I was about to say all those um, signs are so new. I made for fun. Um, but it's not that new because we have 22 right now, right? So it's from last year, but still. I'm not really motivated to place any, any signs because if they don't survive, like even a year, it's it's almost not worth the effort. Oh boy! <laughs> Eleven million. So, yeah, twenty more to go, I guess. Ah, oh, come on. Sounds kind of pointless if you put it like that. One third. Mm. Yeah. I'm also not traveling that fast anymore because I'm getting kicked again, I think. We'll see in a few minutes. 12 minutes in, I assume we, we get like 20 minutes max. I'm wondering maybe I should upload my videos on a different platform which is less um, restrictive when it comes to like hate speech and stuff like that um, but I'm not sure what to choose or like if there's any alternative to YouTube um, that offers the how would you say it? The availability, stability and price. I mean, I can just basically upload as much content as I want for free and be very confident that this content will never be lost. Or like, <laughs> I wanted to say taken down, but duh, it will be taken down if I violate the, um, the rules of YouTube. <laughs> but if you don't violate the rules, the content is, you can host as much content as you want for free and you're guaranteed a high uptime for like basically ever because Google is not going anywhere anytime soon and they can just afford it to, to serve that data and uh, persist it in their data centers forever. So self-hosting is definitely not an option because I can't be that reliable I can't afford that much disk space and um, that's just that's not an option um, I'm not sure about like those federated uh, peer tube instances they might have less restrictions um, on like they, they might not ban me or strike me or whatever or take my content down even though it contains offensive chat messages. 
Um, but I don't think they they are that reliable when it comes to keeping that content. Or like even allowing to upload that much for free. And um, yeah. If you know any way, any other platform, please let me know where I could upload this content. Uh, because I'm honestly considering leaving YouTube if there was an alternative because the current situation is just so risky for me if you think about it it's like one out of two or three strikes and with the third one all the content would be gone um, it would be nice to at least have like a backup where I could store all the videos um, I mean I could even continue uploading to YouTube but just in case if YouTube decides to uh, wipe out my channel out of existence then all the videos would be gone forever because I, I can't keep them. I could also try undusting some old drive and uh, storing them there as well. Which is also very unreliable having a physical disk flying around in my flat just can get lost so easily can get lost so easily and can um, can require maintenance because like these YouTube videos they don't require any maintenance and if I don't care about them um, if I forget about them in 10 years YouTube will still um, keep them for me and make sure that well that they are not being deleted or that their data is backed up or whatever but if I have a drive flying around 10 years in my flat it might die out of, out of age or um, I might decide that I have to put it to other use or it the uh, hardware is so outdated that I can't connect it to the current device that I own in 10 years so it's much more effort to, to maintain this kind of data if you do it locally especially if, if you are aiming for a long time persistence um, of data that you don't care about I mean it's easy to to save a small amount of data that you care about um, for a medium amount of time but preserving a large amount of data that you don't really care about for a long time becomes um, quite tricky so that's really nice about YouTube because it it does that for me um, so yeah like I, I have to have to see what I can do um, I mean are there even any competitors of YouTube YouTube these days there's probably still Vimeo, right? But they have most likely similar policies. Like, yo, if your content is offensive, it's getting, it's, uh, it gets taken down. Or I don't know if they allow uploading as much as you want for free. Actually, I should probably do some research about Vimeo. I will do it right now. Let me, um, let me see. The world's only all-in-one video solution. Okay. Vimeo um, terms of service. Content acceptance of services. You may not submit any content that 
infringes any third party copyright well I assume like using Minecraft which I don't own should be fine because everybody is yeah there's this probably copyright is probably not a problem is I don't want to even read out those because like by just reading out the content uh, restrictions of Vimeo I'm probably getting striked on YouTube um, but as far as I can tell the 2b2t chat might violate Vimeo's terms of service as well um, but yeah kind of depends on how they enforce it so that's that's more the interesting part and that's what you have to try out I guess um, but then is it free our plans isn't there a free version wait is there no Vimeo free version A free basic membership is pretty great, but if you don't, if you want priority support, tons of more storage. Ah, more storage. Okay, so what are the storage limitations then? Two hundred fifty gigabytes every year for six bucks. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure if Vimeo was the option, to be honest. Probably has the same um, guidelines or similar ones um, as YouTube. It might fail to enforce them as efficient because they probably don't have such a strong AI that is going through all the videos. Um, but also they don't have that much money and stuff so they can allow unlimited free hosting of data so that's a bummer uh. <sighs> 2k to world border Ooh. Oh, it's 23 minutes. Uh, the limit might be broken. So if it's 23 minutes, there's also a high chance that we can run for another hour. Huh. Then I definitely don't want to talk any trashy and stare at the screen. I would love to not do that. Go AFK. If I knew I broke the, the time limit, I would have pulled out my laptop. Mm. Oh wow, Fit is streaming right now. Is he like literally online? I didn't watch Fit's, uh, I used to watch Fit's uh, base hunting streams like a, a few Sundays. But that was a while ago. I didn't see any of the videos that Fit uploaded in a, in, I don't know. I should probably get into 
uh, watching fit again it just motivates you to play on 2b it just makes it all more exciting traveling this empty highway nothing happening getting striked by youtube it all feels so pointless until you hear fit telling you awesome stories about this world that you're just wandering around in um, i will actually quickly snoop into fit stream because i'm curious um, I think I'll just mute myself and watch his stream. So, um, yeah, that's that. <laughs> 